some uh, people come with uh, uh, complaints of unequal breasts. So one, uh, one side breast being smaller than the other. So uh, uh, when we see these patients, we examine them. So the most common, um, nobody is perfectly symmetrical. So there is no perfect breast. So it's very common to find one size breast, one side of the breast slightly smaller than the other. So it's like when we put a bangle, one hand uh, in one hand it goes in easily. When we put a ring, one hand it goes in easily. But on the other hand, we have to put soap and push it. So like that, nobody is perfectly symmetrical. There is a small size discrepancy between both the breasts and uh, it usually does not affect them, it does not affect their choice of clothing and it is not very visible. If you look very carefully, you might perceive that difference. So nothing needs to be done about that, they only need to be reassured. So, but some people have a big size difference, so which one cup size is uh, much smaller than the other size. So this may be due to some developmental issues, so what we call as hypoplastic breasts. So that breast did not develop normally like the other breast, it is smaller. Two, uh, uh, there might be other congenital problems like uh, if defect in the chest wall itself. So the rib cage itself might be deformed, the bone there and the muscles there might be um, uh, deformed. So this we call as Poland syndrome. So we examine and look for such uh, problems. So if that is the case, then we recommend appropriate treatment. So people with very gross unequal breasts need correction. So the size that is smaller needs to be made bigger and this we do with augmentation. So this may require uh, a two step procedure where we initially put in an expander, create that space and then put in a permanent implant. So the other breast, it has to match the other breast and sometimes the other breast is too large, what we can do is reduce the other breast and to make it look more even. So both of these procedures can be uh, done. Often people are worried, you know, will I be able to breastfeed uh, or live normally after this uh, procedure. So the, after the correction, the breasts look more or less normal and there might be a, a few scars uh, below the breast and around the nipple areola. Um, otherwise, there is no major issues. And uh, as far as breastfeeding goes, the breast that is not developed adequately, what we call as a hyperplastic breast, anyway may not be able to breastfeed. So, but uh, doing this procedure, so does not change the risk. So, as it is by nature, because of the fact that it is not developed adequately, they may not be able to breastfeed from that side. They, they may be able to breastfeed from the other side that is normal. So, because of, because of the operation that is not the case. So, this is very important to correct because psychologically having one breast that is smaller than the uh, other breast is very difficult for a woman to go through. So, correction is very important for her to have a normal self-esteem and a normal life. So, it is important to have this corrective procedure.